America just left. Uh, I was just in the elevator and there was this woman who I felt like embodied very much the mindset of San Diego, who she was like, I have like a, a million things to get done in an hour, in like a half. And I just am like, am I gonna, I gotta like figure out if I'm gonna get that done. And she's like, but you know what? I've chosen to go with the flow. I'm not gonna panic. I'm not gonna resist. I'm just gonna let it happen. And I was like, wow, that's the San Diego like state of mind. It was so good. Uh, and it just made me realize how much I love San Diego. So San Diego, you're great. I love you. Also, bye Erica. I hope that you had a safe flight watching this after. All right. Now to pack and then hit the floor, I think. All right, let me show you all the cool stuff I got. Finished getting ready. I'm actually not going to make me be Dave, so I'm in my Phoenix swimsuit special cosplay. The plan now is to basically maybe go over to the Women of Marvel um, panel and then we're gonna chill, maybe get some people to sign some stuff, and then go to the movie, and then that'll be it. So, yeah, I'm gonna hit the floor in my very casual beach cosplay. <laughs> but I can't wait to wear it with my yellow glasses, so I'll try to get some pics. Well, we are on our way to Women of Marvel. We stopped to get pretzels. Daryl's gonna go to the floor and try to trade cards. Yo. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. go in this door, actually. All right, I'll see you later. See ya. Here we go. Okay, so slight change of plans. Um, it turns out that the Women of Marvel panel was actually at 10.30. I had my times mixed up in my head. Clearly, even though I've been here for multiple days, I am still jet lagged. So now instead I'm gonna go maybe see if I can hit up some pinball. Also, I just wanted to show you my cool Marvel Girl inspired sunglasses that I have with this look. So yeah, we will head out with some pinball and then we'll maybe go meet up with Daryl. Hey friends, so we are just at Mad Cave Studios. I am here checking out all of the comics, which if you, you've probably seen on Nerd, we've been sponsored by Mad Cave before and they're actually really awesome. I get really excited every time we get sponsored by them. So, I'm, and that's me just being off the cuff. I'm not being paid. I just truly love all of the cool stuff. But yeah, so this is also my new friend that I just made at uh, the Smurfs panel yesterday, yes. which I loved. And uh, yeah, what is your name again? Oh, my name is Maya. I'm Maya, the marketing manager for Maya. Yeah, Maya, it's so nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. And I am so excited just about all of the cool stuff you guys have coming out. Is there anything that you want to showcase? Um, to tell I people about? Yeah, right now, biggest buzz probably about Paper Planes. We just got back from Chicago at ALA, uh, where Paper Planes took home an Indie Book Award. So it got the Gold Medal in Young Adult Fiction. We're super, super proud of this book. There is so much heart and soul that was put into it. Uh, we also kind of sold out of our first printing. So Whoa! Yeah, can't cute. get the first print anymore, guys. It's, uh, it's becoming a collectible. Yeah. That's exciting. That's really awesome. I love the art on this. Hey, okay, well, friends, make sure you guys check out Mad Cave Studios. I'll put some links in the video description so people can check it out. All right, well, I think that went well. Um, we got some stuff from Skybound. I got in the Adam Eve exclusive cover. I got the rest of the Invincible pin set. They gave me a free poster. They tried to sell me some games, but I said, no, thank you. Too many board games, but I was interested in the one they were demoing because the goblin it looked really cool. So now I think we're gonna go hit up Skybound, we hit up Mad Cave. I'm gonna try to find a Rogue Sun 13, and then I'm just gonna go line up and wait for Tom Taylor, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so we just finished getting some books signed from Tom Taylor. He was so nice! 
He was so nice. He signed my Nightwing, $10. And then I got an all new Wolverine signed. But then he asked me if it was uh, signing it for me and I was like, yes. But I should have just said no. I don't know why I said that because I'm probably gonna do a giveaway for that somewhere on a place that is for enthusiasts of bladed devices, potentially. But, uh, or I might do it on socials, I'm not sure. But I was thinking of using it for a giveaway. So I don't know why I said for me, and then he was like, oh, do you want me to write it to you, like your name? And I was like, no, don't do that. And then I was like, oh, now I sound like I'm weirdly gonna pawn it, but I'm not doing that. I just, I think it's Sunday. And I think that means my brain is exhausted. Phoenix needs help. Even Phoenix struggles sometimes. So we are going to finish up and head out. And yeah, see what happens next. It was good. We got our stuff signed. Yeah. Yeah. Got my shag. And I got my Nightwing signed. And I played pinball. Now it is time to pool. Now we chill for a bit and then we're gonna go watch Dazed and Confused. And it's gonna be dope. So, this is my favorite thing about Sunday though, honestly. I just feel like it's such a chill day. It's just the day that I go and say bye to everyone and then like get to enjoy some of the beautiful weather in San Diego. And also people actually noticed who I was. How cool is that? That's so cool. People actually asked to take pictures with me as swimsuit Jean Grey. I never thought, I never thought that this version of Phoenix people would care. <laughs> so I decided to stop by FX because I wanted to get a picture with the what we do in the shadows stuff. So we're here in the FX area. But I also don't know if I'm gonna make it. We'll see how fast the line moves. The line is pretty long. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty long, so we'll see if I survive. I'm gonna set a timer for like five minutes and then if I'm not feeling it, I'll just dip. We'll see. So they gave us a popsicle for waiting in line, but I'm also just decided I may as well do the pictures because that's really what I wanted anyways. So we are here, we're at the cinema. We're at the concessions. We got concessions. You should get concessions. It supports theaters. It's really important. Just so you know, I know it's overpriced, but it's worth it. Uh, popcorn saved the movie industry around like World War One or World War II. I don't it's true. That's true. Also, we're gonna go watch Days and Confused, which I think I can show I people over here. here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we finished dazed and confused. Are you dazed? I am dazed. Are you confused? Yes. Yeah. Because I want to know what happens next to the characters. But I guess I don't get to find out. I have theories. It was really good, actually. We're going to take pics. So we're just doing some Tetris right now. We have our bags. So we'll just be opening them up to put some merch and stuff in here, closing them back up, and then I'll call a new bird to the airport. Yeah. All right. Well, we've been on a journey. We have. We got dropped off at the wrong spot. <laughs> then we walked forever over a bridge, which I took a video of. We had to walk all the way from the bridge that's over there, across, and then into here. 
all the way from over there. And then they were like, so you can see get out of here. <laughs> Canadians. <laughs> Went up to them. Get out of here. And said, building. where is Air Canada? And they said, oh, yeah, no problem. You just go up there and then out of time. Go back the way you came around. from. And over the next bridge. And I was like, oh, okay. And Daryl was like, she was like, get out of here. Because telling us that means like, we have to walk for 10 minutes. More. And then once we get into the other end of the airport, we forgot that always our cannon is all the way at the end. So you have, and it's not only at the end, but it's the end both ways. Like you're walking yeah. not only farther, the you're walking end, farther and then times the end too. Again. But security was fast, so. Security was really yeah. fast. So what was my greatest moment of success? That's a good question. Yeah. I would say one was getting Pedro Momoko to sign my stuff. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to even make that happen. So that was like a moment of success for like to-do list accomplishment. And I got to talk to her, which was really cool. That's dope. Um, and another moment of success that I'm going to go with yeah. is probably people coming up to me and just like saying hi and letting me know how me making content or doing stuff has affected them. That was uh, that was like a really nice moment of success. I feel like for me. Yeah, that's cool. I love I love when people come up and say hi and like we get a chat about comics or something, or I get to yeah. know that like my content means something to people. Yeah. Sometimes I get like stuck in a pattern where I'm just like, oh my god, another Spider-Man video. What am I doing? Does this matter? So yeah, that was cool. So we. Please. Found our gate, but we're just gonna go on an adventure right now. So I just adjusted my fit so that my fanny pack is a little tighter around my waist. It's this very cute, like just kind of t-shirt dress. But like a little, it's like a little Civil War II vibes. Little Carol Danvers, little Tony Stark moment but also BFS for life. Civil War II happened and then everyone forgot about it like immediately. <laughs> so yeah, that's just Civil War II, baby. So we got Starbucks and then we got back to our gate. That took us that long. It took us a million yeah, years. Like so now we're just gonna wait to get on the plane and chill, I guess, and hopefully I'll be warm. I'm in a rust. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, stay nerdy.